So I want to make a video responding to a video I made a few days ago regarding ChatGBT being a good resource, one of the best resources that you can use. And where ChatGBT can be a good resource, a good learning resource. There are some things I feel like I should have mentioned looking back at making that video, which are uh, ChatGBT can be very incorrect sometimes, often, at times it can be. ChatGBT can also give repeat answers, and sometimes it's the exact same answer that it's given before. Um, other times it's the same answer, just worded a little bit differently. So I've found myself when exploring subjects using ChatGBT, I'll end at, at after a certain point, I'll end up in this circling cycle and I will have to kind of stop myself because it will go on and on and on. Um, it's almost addicting the back and forth with ChatGBT because these answers are instant and they may seem correct a lot of the time. So you really have to filter you really have to know how to filter ChatGBT's answers. And you have to know how to get very specific with ChatGBT and do research outside of ChatGBT. Do not rely on ChatGBT. If you're relying on ChatGBT, I feel like eight times out of 10, it's not going to especially if you're diving deep into subjects, it's not really going to give you what you're looking for. It's not going to give you the, the great answer that you are wanting it to give you. So outside of ChatGBT or, or with ChatGBT, because I still think ChatGBT is a great learning resource I think using ChatGBT is really good. I've done so much with ChatGBT. I've learned so much from using ChatGBT. But if you can use ChatGBT, understand that ChatGBT can be very wrong and incorrect sometimes or a lot of the time, knowing what questions to ask ChatGBT, knowing to give ChatGPT very specific details so that it can give you that almost that response that you're looking for. It can give you a lot of good information. And then using Google forums, asking questions in servers or reaching out to other people. If you can combine all these things, I think that ChatGBT is great. But if you're relying on ChatGBT, I don't think that's a good thing because you will get a lot of wrong answers. And if you're not good at filtering these answers, then you're just going to walk around thinking that you have the answer to something when it could be completely wrong. So... I do want to highlight on those things. So, um, yeah, just be careful when you're using ChatGPT. Don't rely on ChatGPT and understand that you will need to filter out ChatGPT's responses and you will need to go through ChatGPT's responses thoroughly at times and kind of nitpick the things that it's saying. And you will do, need to do your own research alongside of that outside of ChatGPT. I think with that, ChatGPT can be can be very powerful. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I'm going to make that HTTP one soon. I wanted to make another one. Oh, I want to make a C-Frame one. I want to make C-Frame video. Um, I've never had to use C-Frame 
for work. So I want to explore that. But I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.